Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss the proposed study in the UK statement. Stay tuned. We'll jump straight into it. While your development impact essays are looking to identify if you are a potential transformational future leader, the proposed study in the UK, in my opinion, is seeking to identify your ability to stay true to a cause, what your passions are, and how the UK is relevant to you attaining your desired study. So if you're new here, we usually have some housekeeping rules. If you've watched my videos a bit, you can skip through the housekeeping rules but remember we need to have a draft at the end of the video so this is not a passive video get your pen and paper or typing device and follow along pause the video when requested to think through the discussion and lastly have a draft by the end of this video have that pen have that paper and take down as many notes as you can that come to your head bullet points are very crucial for us to have by the end of the video so that you have a working draft to start with. So the first question is provide a short outline of your proposed study research. This should be written for an audience that does not have any prior knowledge of the subject and must not be overly technical. Any abbreviations or specialist terms must be explained. So some tips to consider. One is maintain the consistency from the development impact questions. If you are talking about hospitality in development impact questions, this is not the time to talk about health. Then mention the title of your chosen master and key modules that will enhance your skill set required to solve your identified problem in your community or country. If you recall, we are working with Wangari Mathai. So our current problem that we stated in our development impact essay or questions were degradation and deforestation of trees that's causing global warming. So link your dissertation to the themes and concerns of the core module in your program. And you can find these on the website. Don't copy and paste the website information plagiarism will knock your application out then highlight preliminary knowledge or interest in the modules by indicating global conversation surrounding them then highlight your intended dissertation and this could change at the time of you actually writing it however they want to see have you thought through this so before we proceed this is a good place for you to pause and think through what was the problem i had identified in my development impact questions then what possible dissertation can I come up with that can be linked to the themes and concerns of the core module of the program that you are going to take. This would also be a good time for you to pause, look at the website of the university, look at for the course content. Sometimes the universities flesh it out a bit and tell you what is going to entail in every single module. Click on the modules, read them out completely and get the information that you think would fit the problem that you had written out in your development impact essay and then see how to align it into a dissertation. Then even with a simple Google search, you'd be able to check out what kind of conversations are people having or is research having around the topic that I am choosing to write about. So take a moment to pause here and make some bullet points. It's important to make the bullet points before we get into the example so that you have a better understanding of how to write it out when you have have attempted it yourself. So let's get into the example. First of all, 125 words is never easy to write. I think it's easier to write 500 words, 700 words, 1000 words, 125 words, 100 words, 50 words. That's never easy to write, but we can attempt. So in this example, let's say Wangari Mathai was applying for Commonwealth Scholarship. Uh, maybe should write something like this. With the growing threat of global warming and climate change, Research shows that the trees act as the world's largest and effective living storehouses for carbon dioxide gas from the atmosphere. Therefore, environmental activists are calling upon governments to create policies that regulate factors that have impact on the environment. Through the MSc Environment Politics and Development at SOS University of London, I will carry out research to identify how the environment interrelates with forms of governance from the global scale to regions 
communities and individuals. I am confident that one of the core modules on political ecology of development will enable me to get an introductory understanding to my intended research as it covers aspects of governance, policy, and the impact of environmental social movements. Now, let's break this down. If you recall, some of the tips we had discussed to consider include being consistent from the development impact question. You'll see that she was consistent with the problem of degradation and deforestation of trees that is causing global warming. Then link your dissertation to the theme and concerns of the core module in your program. One of the core modules is political ecology of development. So research that she states, I will carry out research to identify how the environment interrelates with forms of governance from the global scale to regions, communities, and individuals. So that shows how she's linking her research to a core module. Then highlight preliminary knowledge interests in the modules by indicating global conversations around them. We'll see that uh, conversation starts with growing a threat of global warming, uh, says the environmental activists are calling upon governments to create policies, and so from that she's trying to carry out her research and see to what extent can policies be able to solve this particular situation. Then highlight your intended dissertation also that was highlighted. So in just 125 words you can be able to achieve that. Now we'll go to the next. Provide a detailed plan of your proposed study. The selection panel will want to understand why you have selected your proposed course and university. Now first of all this is a bit similar to the previous question that we looked at. It's just that the previous question is a bit more summarized and this is a more in-depth question. And for this, I propose that you consider the CSC tips that are within the application system. And these state that I describe clearly why you have chosen your proposed course and university and why you want to undertake the study in the UK. For a proposed course, again, you want to connect the course modules to the course your chosen study and then the university you may want to talk about its expertise in that particular field maybe its ranking and other aspects that you might find relevant to that including particular professor that has an in-depth knowledge of the kind of uh, study that you're looking to do then what it is that you're looking for in a course and how your chosen course relates to your objectives this of course has to continue to be aligned with what you had in your development impact statement and into question one of this particular section then you any dissertation topic you have in mind this will not be far away from what you have already written so again don't copy paste um, what was in question one to question two so at this point pause and jot down some bullet points on what you think that you would write if at this point pause and take and just jot down some bullet points on some of the things that are coming to your head with the conversations that you've had so far. All right, we'll get into the example. It's quite a mouthful, but we'll go through it together. Remember, this is just an example. Assuming Wangari Mathai was applying for the Commonwealth Scholarship, what would she be writing? Maybe it could go something like this. Prior to being an environment activist, I was a senior lecturer in anatomy, chair of the Department of Veterinary Anatomy and associate professor. I was the first woman in Nairobi to be appointed to any of these positions. Following my various achievements in these roles. I was appointed board chair of the Environment Liaison Center and I was also joined as a member to the National Council of Women of Kenya. Through my work with these associations, it became evident to me that the root of most of Kenya's problems, such as poverty and inequality, led to environmental degradation that results into long-term global threats of climate change. This has motivated me to study the MSc Environment, Politics and Development at SOS University of London that is ranked five in the QS World University rankings in the subject of development studies. Okay, so let's break it just down a bit and instead of doing the entire essay. So this first paragraph, one of the things is we're seeing her motivation. Maybe she's just like you. She didn't start off right from environment. Her academic background, even when I read about her, wasn't necessarily in, in environment. However, the various jobs that she has done exposed her 
regard to aspects of environment and she speaks of the chronology into how she got into environment and how this later on became a passion for her then she also talks about the university and uh, how it is ranked number five in the qs world university rankings in the subject of development studies this was on their website but if this is not on the university website you can find it at topuniversity.com www.topuniversities.com i'll leave the link down in the description box and that is able to show you the various rankings of different universities all right so we'll continue the second paragraph in kenya africa development bank reports that nearly 50 percent of kenya's forest cover is lost due to intensive logging charcoal production and large-scale clearance of wooded areas for tea plantations leaving local communities more susceptible to climate change the msc environment politics and development recognizes the economic and environment trade-off while demonstrating critical environmental policies that are needed for reconciling environmental conservation and sustainable economic development processes i also intend to carry out in-depth research on how the environment interrelates with forms of governance from the global scale to region state communities and the individual i am confident that this masters will equip me with the skill set required to lead environment social movements including igniting the participation of non-government organizations in environmental programs through its modules such as civil society social movements and the development process i look forward to learning from the uk how they have established policies that protect trees such as the tree preservation order all right so to get into this we see first of all there are some statistics of what the situation is some more in-depth information in regard to the research that is going to be undertaken and aspects of why you would want to study in the uk so you see you have to do some sort of research this could even be a simple google research to give you an understanding of what the uk is doing in relation to your particular program and this could be the basis of why you've chosen to study in the uk and to sign us off we have a quote from Wangari Mathai. as i told you the foresters and the women you don't need a diploma to plant a tree so in the spirit of Wangari Mathai, each one of us is able to plant a tree and it's not rocket science until next time remember it might be hard but not impossible good luck in the next video we'll be discussing the career plan section